Basically, we can combine electrochemistry with the photoelectrochemistry. So we can sit on that instrument, we can set through software the potential which is required. Huh? And we can look for the current response. Huh? And that's the electrodes connections we can able to give it to the to your electric cell. And uh, this is the what do you call that white light. Huh? Probably that will be too intense. Huh? So this light is signed on the sample. Hmm? Now we are allowing that white light to fire, sign on the sample. Hmm? Now we can able to do the photoelectrochemistry. For a wavelength response system, it will pass through a monochromator, and a monochromator will come there, and the monochromator light will fall on that. Hmm? And <coughs> so that that uh, <coughs> there is a knob to choose the wavelength. Hmm? Through which we can able to do the the <coughs> what you call that wavelength response measurements. Hmm? When it's a white light, you can do photoelectrochemistry, and when you have monochromator in between, one can do that uh, wavelength response kind of things. Hmm? And the references are given so that that you can able to calibrate that with the known standards. Hmm? Then you can able to see that uh, you will get an idea how much light falling on your sample. Against which you can calculate the efficiency.